the second type of Tawheed and that is the Tawheed of divinity or of Godship that Allah alone is the true God worthy of worship and which is known as Tawheed al because the Tawheed of Lordship necessitates that no true God to be worshipped except Allah listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah in chapter 2 verse 21 يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ عَبُدُوا رَبَّكُمُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O mankind, worship your Lord. Look at this. Worship your Lord. Who created you and those who were before you. Because He created you, He provided for you, He possesses everything. So, worship Him. He is entitled for worship as the only true God who deserves it, since He is the Lord. Him being the Lord necessitates that He should be worshipped. And that's why Allah commanded here, O mankind, worship your Lord. And in Az-Zumar 39, verse 6, mulk. لا إله إلا هو فأنا تصرفون look at look at it carefully the coming verse in Surah Al-Zumar 39.6 such is Allah your Lord his is the kingdom more details of lordship his is the kingdom so لا إله إلا هو none has the right to be worshipped but he how then are you turned away And in Surah Quraysh, فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوعٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ Surah Quraysh. So let them worship Allah. Look at this. Who? The Lord of this house, the Kaaba. Since He is the Lord, He deserves to be worshipped alone. Not only that, He gives you details. Who has fed them against hunger and has made them safe from fear? The Lord, the Creator, the Provider, the Sustainer deserves to be worshipped alone so let them worship him so Allah mentioned that he is himself alone the creator and the provider and they don't have a doubt concerning this as we learned earlier and therefore he made this as a pleading argument a proof against them meaning that your attestation to his lordship obligates you to have the worship sincere for him associating no partners with him in worship let us take surah an naml 27 verse by verse from 59 59 and then we'll go all the way to 63 but in steps inshallah قل الحمد لله وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى الله خير أما يشركون say O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم praise and thanks be to Allah and peace be, and peace be on his slaves whom he has chosen for his message 
Is Allah better or all that you ascribe as partners to Him? Of course Allah is better. Next verse. Amman khalaqa samawati wal ard. Is not He better than your gods who created the heavens and the earth and sent down for you water, rain from the sky? وَأَنزَلَ لَكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَأَنْبَتْنَا بِهِ حَدَائِقَ ذَاتَ بَهْجَةً مَا كَانَ لَكُمْ أَنْ تُنْبِتُوا شَجَرَهَا أَإِلَاهُمْ مَعَ اللَّهِ Is not he better than your gods who created the heavens and the earth and sends down for you water, rain from the sky whereby we cause to grow wonderful gardens full of beauty and delight It is not in your ability to cause the growth of their trees Is there an ilah with Allah? بَلْهُمْ قَوْمٌ يَعْدِلُونَ No, but, or nay, but they are people who ascribe equals to him. Furthermore, in 61, أَمَّنْ جَعَلَ الْأَرْضَ قَرَارًا وَجَعَلَ خِلَالَهَا أَنْهَارًا وَجَعَلَ لَهَا رَوَاسِيَ وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ حَاجِزًا أَإِلَاهُمْ مَعَ اللَّهِ بَلْ أَكْثَرُهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ is not he better than your God who has made the earth as a fixed abode and has placed rivers in its midst and has placed fair mountains therein and has set a barrier between the two seas of salt and sweet water? Is there an ilah God with Allah? Nay, but most of them know not. 62. All attributes of Allah concerning his lordship, necessitating his worship. أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُضْطَرَّ إِذَا دَعَاهُ وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوءُ وَيَجْعَلَكُمْ وَيَجْعَلُكُمْ خُلَفَاءَ الْأَرْضِ أَإِلَاهُمْ مَعَ اللَّهِ قَلِيلًا مَا تَذَكَّرُونَ Is not he better than your gods who responds to the distressed one when he calls him and who removes the evil and makes you inheritors of the earth generations after generations? Is there an ilah worthy of worship with Allah? Little is that you remember. The last one, 63. أَمَّنْ يَهْدِيكُمْ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ وَمَنْ يُرْسِلُ الْرِيَاحَ بُشْرًا بَيْنَ يَدَيْ رَحْمَتِهِ أَإِلَاهُمْ مَعَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَ اللَّهُ عَمَّا يُشْرِكُونَ Is not he better than your gods who guides you in the darkness of the land and the sea and who sends the winds as heralds of glad tidings going before his mercy reign? Is there any ilah God with Allah? High exalted be Allah above all that they associate as partners to him. In these verses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala denies for them those who attest that he is the creator of the heavens and the earth and he is the one who brings benefit and the one causes harm that this attestation 